What's going on my Hungry Hugger humans and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Today we are here in Haleiwa, Hawaii. That means House of Learning and one of my friends told me there was a place called, uh, she, she mentioned shrimp trucks. Now she didn't say specific names but I did some googling and I found out there's a place called Giovanni's. There's like three or four of them on the island and they all got mad, mad reviews like 8,000 at one location, 3,000 at one location, 5,000 at one location. Like, okay, this place must be legit. So we're here to check them out. So Giovanni's is right back there. We do have another like taco shop right back over there. There's a shave ice spot right there, but they're not open right now. We got like a coffee spot over here. Let's run over here real quick. There's like another spot over there. So we might try a few of these things out, but I'm not sure because we want to eat dinner later too. It's like four o'clock right now. So one thing, so the the, the the trucks are all in like this little parking lot right here. You gotta come in, you gotta pay $2 to park, but there's no bathroom. But the bathroom is in this red building that you can see right behind me. And there's an awesome mom and daughter in there running the shop. Uh, daughter's name is Praise Jesus RT. She gave me this sticker. She hooked it up, uh, gave, dropped a lot of knowledge on us, told us some more places to go. So I thank you, Praise Jesus, Praise Jesus RT. Thank you very much. Go shop with them. You gonna like what they produce. All right, y'all, my order has been placed. It is a cash only spot. No credit card, no square, no toast, no nothing. So the trucks here, they're all like graffiti up. It's kind of cool. I don't know what they do to get all of the graffiti on the truck like this. I'm sure it's just years of having to be in all kind of places, but you can see the name Giovanni right there on the side. So for my order, they offer like five things. There's like a shrimp scampi, lemon butter, hot and spicy, like a garlic hot dog or whatever, but I'm here for the shrimp, the shrimp truck. So I wanted the best of both worlds. And the young lady at the thing, she said, just get the scampi with a side of hot sauce. I said, well, damn, that's smart. So now I'm gonna do two things for you guys and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, it took a little while, but that's how you know the food is made fresh. So I have the play here. It looks fantastic, but you know, I'm gonna snake you for a little bit. We got like some, uh, some rice and there's like toppings on top of that so the shrimp is like marinated in olive oil and, and soaked in garlic and all kind of stuff i want to get a secret recipe away well we got two forks in case bay wants to share i'll leave that over there ha -ha. all right let's go for the rice first check it out nice sticky thick rice very very good now i can tell the rice underneath is not going to have much seasoning it's just like kind of rice and all the action is on top so what you want to do is probably like mix the rice up so that you get it all in there all right let's not waste any more time here we got the shrimp check it out that looks fantastic dripping in oil and garlic and deliciousness Bay is not gonna want to kiss me later on, but it's a sacrifice I have made for the hungry road for you guys. Cooked excellently, tender, not terribly salty. The garlic is very heavy. I taste some onion there. It's a very, very good garlic shrimp. We did drive. 45 minutes, an hour to get up here to Haleiwa, Hale, Haleiwa. Now we're staying in Waikiki, but you gotta take a drive around the outside of the island. It's beautiful, you see little towns, you see where they film Jurassic Park or some pieces of it, but we're not done. All right guys, we're gonna do the hot sauce right here. It's gonna be these little vials. So fun fact, if you look at the menu, it says no refunds. So this gonna be some hot, hot sauce. But it's the Hungry Road. You know I'm a heat seeker. We're going to pour it right over top. Just like this. Check it out. It's a nice brownish, watery sauce right there on top. Oh, you see the peppers in there? We're going for it. Check it out. Mm. Good vinegar. Good heat. This is an award-winning sauce. Okay. The heat's coming in the back now. It's building. I can handle it. This is a very good sauce. It's more, it's not too, it's, what's the word? It, is it 
if when it's thick, is it viscous or is it not viscous? Let me know in the comments below. I can just Google it by my ass anyway. I feel like if it's viscous, it's thicker. If it's not viscous, it's loose. So this sauce is not viscous. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One thing I know I don't like about this shrimp, they're served with the shells on. Like you have to like peel the shrimp. And then when you peel it, just give it all the seasoning and stuff. I don't understand that part. But just eat the shrimp and crunch on the shells and pull them out. I don't know. All right, guys, we got a little after restaurant action. So we was chatting with Mel, who was like, is not the owner of Giovanni's. So she told me a story. The the new owners bought the name Giovanni's in a business from another guy named Giovanni. The, the new guy's name is Paul, and he just ran the business and made it cracking. But Mel runs this location out there in, I forget how to say the name of the place already, but it's the House of Learning. And she gifted us with the lemon butter flavor and the hot flavor. So we're gonna try those out right now. So I did ask Mel, why do I keep the shells on? She was like, I don't know. They just cook better, they cook faster, they cook easier. Whatever, no big deal. What you're supposed to do is suck, peel, and eat. They're gonna put on a shirt. Don't trademark them, let them have that. Suck, peel, and eat. Pause. Lemon butter. Suck. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That lemon butter is delicious. Now, this is after like a 45 minute or hour drive to get home. So, but I get it. You get all the flavor from the, or the shell or whatever. Peels right off. There you go. Then you can like dip it in the leftover stuff that sits in the little carton at the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Magical. That lemon butter is very, very good. Not too tart. Not too salty. Not too butter, not too heavy. It's a great flavor. Balanced really well. I like that one. I like it a lot actually. So here we have the hot flavor. This is the actual hot. So what I had earlier was like just the shrimp scampi and I poured the hot sauce over it so I could get the best of both worlds. But this is like the, the sauce is soaked into the shrimp here. Let's give it a shot here. But I'm starting to understand the suck, peel, and eat sort of hype, you know? And these are just naked shrimp, you just eat them, you just pop them, it's game over, you know, your meal's gone. But, you suck, mmm, good earthy flavor, it's like, like a gravy almost? Oh, so good, spice kick creeps up on you in the back. Then you can peel the shell off, and then dip the shrimp back in the rest of the juices, you like you get a flavor twice, it's brilliant. Very, very good shrimp. I like it. I like it a lot, guys. But this will conclude my review of Giovanni Shrimp Trucks. If you guys are in the in Hawaii, <laughs> if you're in the area, you're gonna be in Hawaii. You need to come and check these places out. There's a bunch of food trucks right around here. Check them out. Support the local businesses. These aren't like chain giant chains. And you know they're just trying to make it. Trying to feed their family. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe if it's your first time seeing my face. Take care guys, there's never an empty tank or empty stomach on this road. Thank you.